Welcome to Sony Ericsson Support. We will now take a look at how to input text using the on-screen keyboard and phone pad. When you start a program or select a field that requires text or numbers, the default phone pad appears. For demonstration purposes, we will create a new text message. Tap the message icon. Now tap New Message. Tap inside the text field at the bottom of the screen. We can now begin to explore typing. You are now looking at the phone pad. In this view, you can input letters. Tap here to input numbers. Tap the letters key to go back and input letters. Tap this key to input smileys and symbols. Here you'll also find the spacebar, the settings key and the enter key. Directly above the enter key, you have a delete key and to the left of the screen, a shift key. The shift key has three modes by default. A solid arrow icon begins each word of a sentence with a capital letter. Tap the shift key to activate caps lock and only write with uppercase letters. Now you'll see that the icon changes on the key. Tapping it again lets you use lowercase letters only. Tap the Shift key again to go back to Auto Capitalize mode. Let's take a look at the Input Method key. Here you can change the input method from Quick Text to Multitap. Tap here to change the method to Multitap. When using Multitap, you'll have to tap each key as many times as needed to show the letter you want. Tap the input method key again to go into quick text mode. When using quick text, the phone will give you word suggestions. By using this method, you only have to tap each letter key once. Let's start typing a word. You'll now see different word suggestions above the phone pad. Scroll through the suggestions by sliding the list right or left or tapping the arrow keys. Tap a suggestion to change the word. You can now move the cursor to edit words. Tap the text field to bring out the marker. Now drag the marker to the place where you want to edit. You can also select words and copy and paste them. Touch and hold on a word. This brings up a menu with different options. Tap select word. You will now see start and end markers for the word. By dragging these to the left and right, you can select more text. Touch and hold on the selected text. Now tap copy. Move the cursor to where you want to paste the text. Touch and hold in the text field again. And now select paste. Touch and hold again to bring out other options. You can also select all text. Input method is for selecting which keyboard to use if you have downloaded additional keyboards from the Android market. The last option adds the word to the phone dictionary. Now let's rotate the phone to landscape mode. By doing this, the phone pad changes to a full keyboard. Tap here to add symbols and numbers. By tapping this key, you have access to special characters. Touch and hold the ABC key to input smileys. Tap the key again to go back to input letters. Touching and holding a key can also bring out more symbols than shown. Touch and hold on the period key, for example. This brings up a menu with more characters to choose from. Slide your finger to the character you wish to add. Release and the character is added. You could also have the full keyboard in portrait mode. Rotate the phone back. Now tap the settings key. Then tap portrait keyboard. Tap full keyboard and tap the back key. You can now enter text with the full keyboard in portrait mode. Tap the settings key again. In this menu, you can add more writing languages. You can have a language for the on-screen keyboard that differs from the rest of the phone's settings. You can also have more than one language active. Scroll to the language you wish to have and tap it. The language is now added. Tap the back key. Tap T 
text input settings. Here you can set the phone to learn new words automatically when you write them. You can also set the phone to use quick fixes when you write words. You also have settings for word suggestions in the full keyboard, where you can set the keyboard to auto-correct words or not. Underneath it is a setting for correct spelling in the phone pad mode. Tap the back key twice. Finally, if you have more than one language set, you can switch between them by tapping the settings key. To go into the settings, touch and hold on the key. Thank you for taking the time to watch this film. You'll find more information about your phone by visiting the Xperia Mini Pro Support Zone, where you can improve your user experience.